Yeah, well, obviously you're gonna miss uh, Matthew if he's not able to go. Um, that's, that would be that'd be tough. He's just such a you know great player for us. Um, you know, me and Wolf of Wall Street, we go way back. And we've had some time playing with each other, uh, so you know it'll be, it'll be fun to be able to you know if that's what it is. You know, it'll be fun to be able to get out there with him. Um, he's got great command. He's done this. He's run this offense for a while now. So um, you know, we you just you've heard it said over and over again. It's next man up mentality. Uh, if, it, if it comes to that, and uh, you know, we should be ready to go, go play ball. Cooper, how did uh, have the ankle come out of this game? It, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Feel feel solid. No limitations heading into this weekend. Uh, no. Yeah, just be ready to go and go and play. And then in regards to kind of you guys just riding the ship in general, um, you know, a lot of guys have sort of made their thoughts and opinions clear within this space uh, to each other about what's needed, you know, the direction. How do you guys keep that space where people can speak their minds while also staying connected? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think that's, uh, you know, I think that it comes back to the mentality and the character of the people on the team. You know, you know, speaking your mind is, you know, it's, it's encouraged. I, mean, you know, I want people to speak, you know, what they're feeling and uh, all those things to be, you know, out in the open. And uh, at the same time, I think there's a respect for what this game is and how difficult it is. and. Um, also, the effort that's being put in on both sides, um, and the belief in the, in the guys in this locker room that, that you know you put in the time, you put in the effort, the preparation. Uh, the guy next to you is as well, and uh, you know certainly there's you know there's execution that's falling short on Sundays, um, but we gotta find a way. You, got, you know you gotta keep working, you gotta keep finding a way to be able to go out there and, and make plays and be able to put. Um, guys in positions to win and um, play complimentary football and uh, so certainly you know you have a you have freedom to speak your mind and there's a there's a mutual respect for you know the guys in this team being able to you know be open and honest with each other and uh, also be able to encourage each other and challenge each other. Cooper, anything different from your perspective as far as the preparation with John versus Matt and maybe how you can accelerate that timeline a little bit that that learning curve a little bit in the short amount of time. Yeah, well, I think that's what I said. I mean, you know. Uh, John's been John's done this before. He's done. He's been in this offense for a while now. He's very familiar with it, with this stuff and very comfortable, you know, in the huddle, calling plays and um, you know the uh, progressions that the uh, you know what we're looking for. The not only the intent behind the plays we're calling, and um, so it's really it's a it's a much shorter learning curve I think than people you know might think because he's he's done this and so uh, you know you know he's preparing the right way um, if his name's called and um, you know we'd be able to go out there and get the reps that we we need to have together and um, be ready to go on Sunday. When you're when you're struggling, like you said, after the game, it's not for a lack of effort. But when a team's losing, what do you do to, to say, do I need to do more or do I need to offer a different? How do you kind of hit the reset each week? Yeah. Well, you know, certainly, I mean, you hit the reset each week, whether it's you know, positive or negative. Right. You, know, you got to be able to go and prepare. Um, you're going to prepare for that next week and go try to find a way to go one and zero. You know, we've, we've, I think the thing is, you know, there, like I, I said, you know, a few days ago, it's not for lack of effort. It's not that the guys aren't coming in here working and preparing. Um, I do think there's an element of, you know, being able to find ways to innovate. You know, uh, I think, don't think the process and the preparation changes. I think that there needs to be some innovation and um, some, you know, some uh, ways that you, you know, maybe you as a player have attacked things a certain way. Uh, maybe it's, it's looking for other ways to win. Maybe there's, you know, other, you know, techniques, things that you can do. Um, you know, things that um, allow you to win games and you know, win your one-on-ones. And um, I just think that's something that we need to be, you know, able to think about. You know, um, efforts there, but you know, you get in these places. I think there it also opens up some room for innovation and um, find ways to think a little differently. Yeah, Cooper, just to expand on that. Um, how do you communicate and convey when you're in that two-way dialogue, that problem-solving dialogue with the with the staff? How do you convey as a player, like, let's let's try this stuff versus understanding that they also are in risk mitigation? Mode? Yeah, well, you know, um, you know, I think that the the you know you trust the coaches and what they're going to put together in the game plan, and I think they have done a great job of being able to try some different things and, and you know talk about innovation, being able to find you know different ways to run this offense. I mean, look at what we've done this year. You got. You, a fullback for the first time in uh, many years. So, you know, there, there's innovation, there's, there's finding ways to win, put our guys in positions to, you know, be successful, and we just got to continue to do that, continue to push the envelope, and at the end of the day, be able to execute. At the end of the day, we just have to be able to execute better, um, you know, to the man, and, um, you know, be able to, like I said, play complimentary, complimentary football and put each other in positions to, to win. Along those lines, as you, as you guys have gone through that process this week, what have you liked about just that collaboration and, and mindset and approach? 
yeah, well, it's like, like it always has been. You know, there's a there's a belief in what we're doing. Um, that could, you mentioned that collaboration. You know, that's that's something that we um, talk about all the time. I think the the attitude and um, the the belief in each other coming in here has been great in this week, and um, continue to work with each other, trying to find ways to um, trying to find ways to you know play for each other and put each other in positions to win. Like I've said, um, it's been uh, it's been really good. So um, you know, we're going to continue to do that. And, um, you need to look inward first and um, you know, see what we can do individually as, as players and then um, you know, as, a, as a team be able to um, go out there and compete for a W. Cooper, uh, with uh, Matthew dealing with a serious injury, do you tell him, hey, don't rush back, we got you, take care of yourself? Oh, certainly. I mean, this isn't something, you know, this isn't something that you muscle through. You know, I think it's you know, just been very clear, um, you know, with uh, concussions that this isn't something like a, it's not an ankle, it's not a knee, it's not anything that you can just push through. It's something that you have to, you have to handle the right way um, for your family um, and for, you know, for yourself. I just think there's, there's bigger things ultimately. And, um, you know, I think he's, I, I hope he feels that, that he knows. I mean, it's just like, it's so against his nature. He's played through so many things in his career, um, you know, in Detroit. And then even just for us last year, what he was able to push through the injuries. It's just in his nature to push through things. And I think that's a little bit of, Know what, how you know it can, it can grind on you when you when that's just how you played your played uh, your entire career. So um, I think there is an element of that. But um, you know, all you know, all, all praying for him, pulling for him, supporting him, um, and uh, you know, whatever it's going to be come Sunday, uh, we're be ready to go. Um, I'm gonna ask, Last one. Uh, I definitely am the same question, and it's more of like a teaching question, if, if that's possible. But in terms of um, you know, it, when you guys have tried different things in the run game, and Ben's chronic is obviously an example of this. Um, you know, EPA per play has skyrocketed, efficiency per play has skyrocketed, but what are some of the factors and why that can't just be now used every single time versus, you know, in terms of how opponents are playing you guys, how you want to preserve his health, mm -hmm. how you want to make sure that you're using it at the right time and not spamming it? Yeah, well, um, I think that's probably a question. Whatever the, whatever the coach has said is probably the right answer. <laughs> I don't want to expand on anything that's beyond what, what has already been said. So. Um, you know, let the coaches make those decisions on you know what's best for the team, and um, you know certainly I think there's an element of you, know, you can only have Vince Gronk playing fullback for so long. Um, but you know I'm gonna let the coaches handle that.